Welcome to wikitiki.com. Here is one very important interview question and answer. This is Venkat. I am a Microsoft most valuable professional. You are able to see my profile in microsoft.com. Apart from that, I got almost 16 international awards. Among that, 9 awards are from Microsoft. Here is the question. How do you handle rude and upset customers? So here is the key points for this particular question. Remain calm. Don't take it personally. Use your best listening skills. Actively sympathize. Apologize gracefully. Find a solution. Take a few minutes on your own to think to resolve the problem. So here is a sample for this particular question. Handle with much respect and understanding on the customer. The key point is remain calm. The number one rule of customer service is to never lose your temper with your customer. No matter how rude he is being. Don't take insults personally. The key is to remember that no matter what the customer is actually saying, the real cause of his problem has nothing to do with you as a person. Listen and learn what the real issue is. If the customer is being rude to you, it is possible that you or your co-worker made a mistake. Ah, perhaps the customer did not get something he was supposed to get. The key is to listen and try to understand what the actual situation to resolve it. Here is the next one. Why are the manhole covers around? A round manhole cover cannot fall through its circular opening. Whereas a square manhole could fall if it is inserted diagonally in the hole. Circle covers don't need to be rotated or precisely aligned when placing them on the opening. A round manhole cover is easily moved and rolled. Here are some more technical things related to this particular question. Round tubes are the strongest shape against the compression of the earth around them. It is easier to dig a circular hole. Round castings are much easier to manufacture using a lathe machine. Let's move on to the next question. Are you a goal oriented person? The reason for asking this question is like they want to find it out whether you if you set goals in your work or not to find out your go focus on the goals and the things you hope to accomplish and also to find out whether you have concrete goals and detailed list here is a sample yes i am sir i have several key goals set for my role that i am seeking to accomplish over the course of the coming year and you have to explain like uh, what is the goal you planned and achieved it. Let me tell you about one that I recently accomplished a heard of schedule. So you can narrate it to them. Here is another example for a student. Yes, I am sir. I have quite a few goals that I have set for myself in my education and career preparation. An example of achieving one of my recent goals was securing an internship this past summer. Here is the next very important interview question. Give me an example of a time you faced a conflict while working on a team. How do you handle that? Since each project and every company will have a team and they want to know whether you are a team player or not. That's why they are asking this question to you. So first thing is that your interviewer wants to get a sense of how you will respond to conflict if situation happened. Conflict questions are common because everybody wants to hire a good team player. It is probably the most common behavioral question. Interviewers may ask your team experience and they like to ask specifically about one that involved a conflict or a difficult person in your work. Here is a typical example. The example should be, the sample should be like this. You got a conflict with the team and you will call them 
and you will discuss, explain the problem and resolve the problem. So this is how you have to answer. Here is the sample. I recently had a conflict with one employee in another department who had a project which was dependent on work being done by myself and two other members of our team. He had sent an email blaming us of disrupting his project. I then glimpsed into our project and guidelines and timelines. We agreed to have a timeline that would help both of us to meet our goals. And the conflict was resolved because it became a major incident if I didn't handle it. That's how you can answer this question. Here is a very important and different question they will ask in the interview. Like uh, they will give a pen to you. They may ask you to sell it. Sell me this pen or a suntan lotion here. So the reason for asking this question is like they want to check your sales skill. How you gather the information, how you respond to the information, how you deliver the information and finally how you will ask for something making them to buy and closing it. These are the things an interviewer is expecting from you. Here is the sample. So find out how was their lastly used product, a pen or a suntan lotion and gather the information about it. Their experience. You emphasize the importance and advantage speciality of the product which you are holding. Sell something bigger than a pen like a state of mind. So express more information like advantages about the product which you are going to sell and advantage of your product when compared to the product which that guy is having and ask for the buy or closing make them to buy it this is how you can make it out let's move on to the next question why do you want this job so this is to understand whether you are interested in this job or not so show how your skills match show your enthusiasm for the job and show how you fit into the culture these are the very important points. Here is a sample. I like to gain experience in this line of work because I feel that it will perfectly suit my skills. I feel I should have direct hands-on knowledge or experience in this position at this stage of my career. I see this company not only as a positive work environment but also a good opportunity to have my skills and qualifications may be a difference. It will make a difference. These are all some of the samples. Any one you can explain it to them. Here is the next question. Why should we hire you? You have to emphasize like your advantage or your strength to the interviewer. Why they want to hire you? If an interviewer asks you why should we hire you in an interview, the interviewer is giving you the opportunity to sell yourself. Think of yourself as a product and why should the customer buy? Why should they recruit you? Here are some of the samples. I think this is a big platform for me to start building my career. My passion for excellence and more work. I'm passionately committed to producing truly world results at any given time. I'm prepared to further and gain more practical skills and knowledge. This is how you can answer. There is another possibility of answering it. Well, I believe that I'm a perfectly suitable candidate for this position you are interviewing for. I thrive or work under pressure. I'm hardworking and I have no problems in working at odd hours and I have a great desire to work in this area. So this is how you can answer. This is one of the most important interview questions. They will ask in each and every interview, tell me about yourself. They want to know about you. Here is a hint. It is a most often question and you have to prepare it as a short statement and finally talk about things you have done and jobs you have held that relate to the position you are interviewing for. Here is the other way to ask the question. Tell me something about yourself or about you. 
I read your resume. Tell me more about who you are. Who is maybe your name, Venkat, or something like that? How would other people describe about you? These are the possible questions they will ask in the interview. If you are a fresher, so these are the areas you need to cover about you, degree, family, hobbies. Maybe you can add goals and strengths. Here is the example. Hello, sir or madam. It's my pleasure to introduce myself. I'm John. Completed my engineering from ABC College. And regarding my degree, I have completed my schooling in ABC I Secondary School with 87 percentage. And apart from this, my family includes my father is a businessman and mother is a housewife. I'm and one brother studying class 10. And my hobbies are solving puzzles, surfing internet, and drawing. If you want, you can add more. Like uh, my long-term vision is to get placed in a reputed company like you and enhance my technical skills even more often or uh, more better than now. And finally my strength is I'm more aggressive and interested to learn and acquire new technological concepts. This is how you can answer as a fresher. Considering you are an experienced candidate, in that case you need to talk about your experience, worker experience, project experience and your company experience. So about you, maybe you can add your goals and strength too. Hello sir and madam, it's my pleasure to introduce myself, I'm George, having 3 years of experience as a developer in the corporate sector. You can specify your company name. Successfully completed the online projects for the international clients within the stipulated time. Involved in software testing and documentation. Analysis of the business requirements and the software recommend specifications. And apart from that, my goal includes my ethic is I never neglect my opportunity for my improvement and basically won't give up soon. I'll work for it until it's done. And my strength is I used to work in team and reach goals on time, which always boosts me up to complete the work on time with perfection. This is how you have to explain if you are an experienced candidate. And here is the next important interview question that's what's your strength? These are the other ways the people will ask in the interview. What do you do best? What is an area where you are considered to be an expert? Is there an area where you can prove that you are the best? This is how that people will ask. Here is the hint. It is important to study the requirements of the position before you appear for the interview. List out your strengths and offer the ones that this role demands. Here is a sample. I believe in myself that I can. These are some of the samples. Any work will be done with a magical word or letter called confidence. Can adapt to any situation. My strength is my attitude. I like to take both success and failure in the same manner. This is how you can talk in a single line. Or you can make it out elaborately about your strength like this. I consider myself as a quick learner who always wants to learn everything for a particular job or particular, for a particular position. I consider myself to, to be highly ambitious, hardworking, quick learner and self-motivated guy, which I, I believe are the essential qualities that anyone who wants to succeed in professional life should possess. And finally, I am a fast learner and self-encouraged person, always. I like to work with a positive attitude in all situations. I have the capability to work with my team and implement new thoughts and new ideas. These are all some of the samples you can use it any one. Let's move on to what is your weakness. This is the final question and very important question to understand your weakness. Discuss your weakness in a very positive way. Highlight the point which will always show how you plan to overcome it. That's really important.
here are the other ways to ask the question what areas are your weakest what are the areas where you need to improve your skills are there areas where you need to develop your skills further what would your boss say is the area where you need improvement here is a sample i'm always willing to take up additional responsibilities but i end up being overworked so now i'm realistic about what i can do so that i do work to the required standards if you lack certain technical skills which is crucial for the job you can state that you are planning to take up a training course or certification to get over it maybe you can ask like you can answer like this my weakness is straightforward because some people don't like and i can't say no when someone asks me for help that's it like uh, you can subscribe to our youtube channel and if you're looking for more videos go to youtube.com search for wiki techie interview tips you'll get a lot of videos apart from this for technology is wiki techie technology tutorials or for school is wiki techie school finally for health and entertainment you can go to wiki techie health and entertainment you can subscribe to our youtube channel and if you are looking for more help you can post us comments in our youtube video so that our expert team will answer it here is our contact number to join with us and this is our website wikidiki.com not facebook url you can provide your likes and get notification thank you from wikidiki.com